Hey everyone, friends and family and everyone in between. Welcome back to Chicago Reacts, your favorite channel on the YouTubes. I'm Zach, an actor here in Chicago, soon to be worldwide. And as always, on my left and your right. My, I'm my left and your right. I'm Michael, everybody. I'm also an actor here in the city of Chicago. I'm glad you could take a moment and get that figured out, oh. Zach. We are back with Chicago Reacts, and today we are checking out Dog Breed Deformities by Salmonella. Guys, Salmonella. Salmonella. It's been a while for Michael I and I. Know. I think the Diogenes video is still one of my faves. Actually. Yes, yes. Um, that's probably in my, like, <laughs> like, if I had to make, like, a top 10, 15 videos I've ever seen in this, that's Definitely my favorite salmonella, and it's probably on there. Yeah. Yeah. I, honestly, I'm just so happy to have salmonella back because we we missed you. We missed seeing your hey, stuff. Sam. It's been a little while. <laughs> um, yeah, dog breed deformities. All right. Okay. Oh, boy. If you guys like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you loved it, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Leave a comment down below and check out the description. We've got our links to our stuff, uh, Chicago Reacts Movies and TV, and our Twitch channel. Mm -hmm. So, lots of stuff below. All right. Let's dive in. <laughs> oh. Hey kids, let me hey, talk Sam. to you about dog breeding. Nowadays, dogs are mostly around just to be a cute companion, right? So breeding has gone from functionality to cuteness. And that's fine, <laughs> as long as it Kinda stays true. within the bounds of nature. But that's not enough for today's breeder. So, how do you make a dog cuter? Apparently, by giving it disgusting genetic deformities. <laughs> and chances are, you, the listener, agree with that. You just don't know you do. Let me show you what I mean. See this? This is a relatively normal dog. Notice the snout, the eyes, the shape of the head. Not too far gone from the wolves that today's dogs come from. Now let me take you through some other breeds. First is the Bull Terrier. 100 years ago, still look pretty normal, right? Now here's today's version. Jesus, oh. who needs snouts, right? Let's oh. just give it a long, continuous boomerang-shaped head. That, with that looks, looks like an like alien. Shark. It looks, yeah, it, looks like a, <laughs> it looks like a shark. It looks like a land shark. It kind of reminds me of the creature from Stranger Things. The Demigorgon, dude? With this weird head. Oh. <laughs> oh like if you just God? took the head, not the yeah, body. Yeah, you know? yeah. Oh. It, it, alien Isolation, which Michael's playing yes. on, on Twitch. That's what's chasing me. That's, that's what's chasing actually me. Chasing if, me. Only, if it only it were only that <laughs> that's, chasing that's, me. That's the adaptive AI, dude. Oh. That's, that's what Man, I haven't even <laughs> dealt with the AI yet, and it's oh, still terrifying. Oh, God, dude. Dang. Oh. I thought for whatever reason the AI came first. I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> two tiny holes at the end. Seriously, it looks like Toucan Sam is trying to fit inside a dog costume. Yeah, and look at its eyes. They're permanently pointed up at the sky as if to say, God, why did you let me become this? Please kill me. <laughs> Do you guys remember Spuds McKenzie, the old yeah. Bud Light mascot? Well, I just realized why they chose a bull terrier of all dogs. It's because he looked like his mom drank nothing but Bud Light for her entire pregnancy. <laughs> oh Next up is the pug. I'll probably yes. get some hate oh, on this man. one, but I don't care. They've looks... been bred specifically to look like they've been smashed in the goddamn face with a frying pan. And because of this, because of their fact that their skull is shaped like a fucking tuna can, they can barely breathe their whole lives. Ever been around a pug? Constantly, no matter the temperature or the weather, they sit there going, gah, 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 gah. and people think this shit is cute. If my baby came out with a flat nose, hair lip, Wait, cylindrical... Wait, is, is that Sam on a... <laughs> oh, this is why I miss Sam so much. God. Yes. Yes, Sam and Ellie, yes. This is so funny. <laughs> head and no neck going kuh, kuh, kuh. I'd be like Jesus fuck put it back in it's clearly not done yet next is the dachshund now there is no excuse those, for this one look at the those head's fine, tiny right? little but, legs look I at those know. tiny little legs this actually reminds I saw a like uh corgi I think it was a corgi pitbull mix oh wow and it was the weirdest thing but I saw its tiny legs and I was just like it looked so like it wanted to be able to move so much, so faster, much faster than it, than it, could. it could. And I felt, I was like, this yeah. seems wrong. Yeah. And 
<laughs> watching this video, I can't help but think of it. Yeah, they they I've seen um husky corgi mixes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which are which are really cute. But yeah. they also <laughs> <laughs> Or I mean like how about the most popular dog in America today, which is the the Frenchy pug? Oh you know the the French bulldog pug mixes? I don't I don't know. Yeah. The Frenchies. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh PSA, uh, if you're going to get a dog, consider getting from a shelter. Yes. Because yes. uh, it helps. Adopt. Adopt. Not shop. Yeah. But the body, good God. It's got a torso shaped like a goddamn doorstop with those pointless legs just kind of stapled on. It now, does. it's been a little while since I reminded you what a normal dog looks like, so here. Now, let me go into Photoshop real quick and do all the changes necessary to make this dog look like a dachshund. Look at that. That's not okay. <laughs> Why even have legs at this point? Might as well just keep going until it's just a drumstick from the neck down. And there's no reason. It's just one day someone was like, Well, people like dogs, and people like ferrets, so why don't we make some chimera abomination halfway in between the two and see what happens. <laughs> My least favorite breed, though, out of all of them, it's just straight up fucked in every way. A testament to humankind's never-ending corruption of the natural world. I'm talking about the Chihuahua. It's like somebody oh, took a yes. normal dog and boiled away every aspect except for anger and neuroticism, leaving this tiny hell creature behind. And this is one of the nicer pictures I could find. Take a look at this. Someone ah! call a priest. <laughs> yeah, my, uh, one of my good friends growing up, they had a chihuahua, yeah. and that thing, every time I would come over, is <laughs> yeah, they're horrible. It's like, horrible. oh my gosh. No offense was, to anybody that has yeah, a chihuahua. I'm sure your chihuahua is lovely when you don't have guests over. <laughs> but after that... <laughs> <laughs> uh, any other time, it's not fun, you know? No. And not like, like, my dog goes crazy when we have guests over, but it's like, pet me, pet me, I yeah. want to cuddle you. Now, yeah. I, I'm going to chew your ankle off. <laughs> right, right. It's, it's, yeah. Kalu, she does more of like a little, like, happy dance. Yeah, she it's does. Like she she wiggles her, her booty She wiggles her booty around, and yeah, that's how it should be. Yeah. Wiggle, yeah. W wiggle the booty. <laughs> And we let these things inhabit our homes. This poor woman's gonna wake up with her fucking nose chewed off and just be like, oh, Mr. Wiggles was a little hungry this morning, wasn't he? <laughs> Meanwhile, the dogs are sitting there like, hur, 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 bloodlust. Hur. The only time they're not being this. needlessly aggressive towards people, it's when they're off pissing, shitting, and vomiting all over their surroundings. And you would think That's such a, a small dog would just... at least produce manageable waste, but much like the creature itself, the small things it does expel are straight up toxic. It's like some of the chihuahuas pen up hate hatred for the mortal plane manifests itself in every dump it takes. I would rather clean up a full-grown man's shit from my floor <laughs> than wipe up the septic nightmare that is Chihuahua Squirts. The only good thing about owning a Chihuahua is that if it ever gets rabies, it'll be fine because you won't be able to tell the goddamn difference. It'll still be sitting there hur, 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 business as usual. Oh, so that's my man. little rant about the monstrosities that live right beneath our noses. I'm Sam Manella, and thank you for watching. Yes. Oh, Sam. Oh, yes. what a great video. I mean, it's that. crazy to see how, like, I mean, I guess I, like, just in a hundred years, dog breeds have changed that dramatically. Mm -hmm. Is so, yeah, it's so interesting. Yeah, it's, 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 I mean, it is wild. And now, m more so than ever, you know, people, people, especially with the money and resources to be able to, you know, craft their perfect dog. Um, people do actually do that. You know, they will uh, get to know a breeder for years and years until their perfect dog comes around. Yeah. It's, um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. But I do lo I love your dog. Yeah. Our dog is very sweet. Good dog. Yeah. <laughs> but I would love to know in the comment section down, uh, down below, let us know if you have a dog and if you got them from a shelter mm -hmm. or, or if you did choose to go through a breeder, why did you? Because I think that is a cure. I'm, I'm curious because I like I understand people. Some people just have their uh, yeah. dog. They're like, "This is my dream dog." Yeah. Or, but other times, there I know that there are certain like, uh, like, oh well, we've got young kids, so we want a dog that has a certain temperament mm -hmm. or things like that. So yeah. I, 
I understand that. Or but. even the people that are like allergic to dogs, but can get the hyperallergenic ones. Yeah, like, yeah. Like sometimes, yeah. The, if you if you breed them, um, yeah, it's it's that that, that hyperallergenicity. Genesis, yeah. Gen- to see, um, is I know it can be a little bit more fine tuned when you're breeding stocks. So, and you know, I guess I'd rather have a family out there, you know, a, have a dog be bred, but that they're gonna love and give a great life to, yeah. than adopt a dog and not give them the best life that they deserve. So, yeah. Well, Sam, you did it again. Guys, if you liked the video, like it. If you loved it, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Do leave that comment about your your dog history. Yeah, and let us know if there's anything else you think we should check out. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you next time. Chicago reacts.